yes. <laughs> These public rights, right. Juro um, publica es <laughs> privato promiscu decidi non debens, yes. <laughs> should not be promiscuously decided out of a public transaction or private transaction. <laughs> now, um, these rights that were the result of a private transaction where the petitioner wasn't there? Yes. Where I wasn't there? Right. Where the only individuals that were there were the court commissioner and the uh, ex-official superior court clerk? Yes. And her signature's a forgery? <laughs> It looks like a private transaction. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, when you do not have any personal service, service by publication, yeah, because I had no address, yes. And when I did not receive any actual notice of the hearing, you're right. <laughs> and it was not issued in the full faith and credit provisions of the VAWA, yes. And the actual individual that signed it is not the ex official superior court clerk, yes. It looks like a private transaction of the county commissioner. It was a promiscuously decided, uh huh, because um, it does not have the acknowledgement or the consent of the petitioner. Yes. It does not have the signature of the actual ex official superior court clerk. Yes. See, when one of the signatures is a forgery, and I'm thinking one of this is the actual core signature, uh huh, and this is the extorted signature of another individual, yes. The only person that did this private transaction is this individual, Ouch. and you issued this for 10 years, page six of six. Now, this promiscuity when using the courts of the United States, yeah, that should not happen because of my public rights, right? The public rights of my five sons, yes. And then the whole thought of me getting arrested for... <clears throat> you were promiscuous in the use of your authority as a court commissioner. Mm -hmm. Now, I feel confident that I can prove that you extorted the signature of somebody other than Christy Miller. Yes. That means the liability for the court commissioner is that you decided to have your own private transaction known as the issuance of a court order in complete violation of all laws of the United States. And then you decided, right, to arrest me? Yes. Another private transaction? Right. I did not see the signature of the petitioner? No. I did not see any evidence of her saying that I actually violated the restraint provisions of the protection order. Yes. There was no police report. It was a private transaction of a police officer that abused their authority because of the promiscuous use right now of law enforcement. <laughs> then there's the two count criminal complaints. Yes. Well, you said I was obviously crazy for putting the social security numbers online. Yes. And then when I, I emailed you wanting notice and what? All the available information uh -huh, about the two count criminal complaint so that I could prepare to go to court. Mm -hmm. You said I was crazy. <laughs> obviously, I did know about the court hearing. Yes. The issue is that law enforcement did not investigate either of the two count criminal complaints. Yes. And you decided to promiscuously use the court system. Mm -hmm. Now, if I can prove in court that you received any compensation for doing this for the Squin Police Department, right, the prosecuting attorney's office in Jefferson County, yes, or the Clallam County uh, Court right now, <laughs> I'm going to sue you for the actual ownership of everything that you will ever own. Yes. You cannot be promiscuous mm -hmm. in the private transactions of issuing court orders. Huge lawsuit. Now, um, this idea of no, no discovery, mm -hmm. uh, no one reading me my Miranda rights, no one giving me notice of court hearings, Mike Van Poyen getting all court notices, and then your little cult called the way right now. I'm going to want to speak to Marilyn. Mm -hmm. I really am. Mm -hmm. 
Now, um, I'm going to want to sell some shock absorbers. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, this, mm -hmm. I put my signature on it. Geramentum est indivisible. Mm -hmm. This word, I'd like to know that Latin word in each and every lawsuit of the United States. Yes. Est indivisible. An oath must be juramentum. Mm -hmm. Is individual. See, I can see the similarity between the two words indivisible because I really did read this one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And non est admittum in partum barum at in parta falsum. Yeah. And is not admitted as partly true mm -hmm. and partly false. Now, you cannot say it's partly true that the petitioner wanted a protection order mm -hmm. and partly false. She either appears in court and signs the document, yes, because it is not partly true and partly false. You cannot say that either respondent received actual notice of court hearings as partly true because you served me in the Squim Public Library, which, while at the same time saying it's partly false, that the individual did not receive actual notice of court hearings. You cannot say it's partly true that I had available to me at any time to get a copy of the dissolution of marriage, while at the same time saying it's partly false that Paul could get a copy of the dissolution of marriage as long as he went to court and paid for a copy of it. <clears throat> See, it's 50 cents a page to get any document of any court case that I myself would want. Now, when you keep me homeless, yes, yes, yes. I've never had the availability of actual money to go to the court clerk and buy each and every page of the dissolution of marriage. It's her expense, yes, to make sure that the decree of dissolution of marriage is provided to the respondent at the expense right now. Now for, well, it's 2019, six years, right. 2,500,000 emails, all right, uh, approximately 35,000 videos, and your idea was, well, we're going to say it's partly true that we mailed to the uh, respondent, yep, yeah. uh, copies of all of the necessary documentation, yes, but then we're going to say it's partly false because he didn't receive it, oh, 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 <laughs> and then we're going to say it's partly true that he did get copies of it, but it's partly false because the mail was returned unclaimed. And then we're going to say it's partly true that he could get a copy anytime he wants, as long as he wants to pay 50 cents a page. <clears throat> now, I do not have available to me at this very moment the wherewithal to walk into that court and pay that court for copies of the dissolute. I never have. Mm hmm you made sure that I would never have any money. Oh, there was no availability for me to get an actual copy. Exactly how many pages are in the disc? Judge Rohrer. It's uh, indivisible, the actual oath. Yes. You can't issue a decree of dissolution of marriage without having proof of service that the respondent received it. Yes. You cannot issue a decree of dissolution of marriage without having proof of service that the respondent received the actual document submitted to the court. You cannot arbitrarily decide that the respondent is going to pay for every fucking copy. This oath under penalty of perjury, Judge Rohrer, does the court have any knowledge of me receiving any documentation? Yes. After my wife motioned the court for... Uh, what was it again? Uh, default disillusion of marriage. <coughs> nope, you don't. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to go to the court and buy copies of the actual documentation. I'm not paying 50 cents a page. Mm -hmm. It is the liability of the petitioner to provide all documentation and have proof of service. An oath is indivisible, every sworn oath of office. Mm -hmm. I'm going to sue you, yes, 
for all of those that thought that I should pay for copies of what should have been personal service to myself as a respondent. Yes. And then I'm going to sue you. Yes. For refusing to obligate the right now. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, 1077. Oh, look at crazy. Mm -hmm. By the law of nature, it is just that no one become more rich <laughs> by the detriment and injury of another. Mm -hmm. And I put some little stamps right there. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, this unjust enrichment, yes, uh, the law of nature, uh -huh. um, it is just that no one, no billionaire, Michael Bloomberg, yes, that no one, do you understand me right now, becomes more rich uh -huh, than myself by the detriment and injury of myself. <laughs>